Greetings, my friends, and welcome to this brand new Let's Play. Um, before I start, just a quick brief overview. Um, for those of you who maybe haven't seen my Russian campaign and uh, realised might what be going on, um, I did um, originally have a, a channel on YouTube. Um, it was maybe 350 videos into that channel, maybe nearly two years I was on that channel. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, my my account was compromised and uh, the channel, for whatever reason, was deleted by those people who compromised or hacked my channel as it were, managed to get in and take it away from me. So, And as part of that channel I had a, a United States uh, Let's Play campaign on the go. It was nearly 50 turns old, so we were, you know, I was quite well into it. We had many, many excellent fights in that campaign, my friends. It got really tough at times really really tough at times and I enjoyed it so much my friends that I thought well instead of being beaten by those who have taken away my sort of channel from me from and pretty much destroyed nearly two years worth of work I am gonna resurrect that campaign my friends I've got to start again because I was not able to save my old um, my old let's plays because it would have taken a couple of hard drives to be able to do so because I had so many, I had 350 videos and it would have just taken so much space to be able to save every single one. So I've basically got to start again completely but I enjoy the United States campaign so much that I'm going to start from afresh. Um, I might, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a different slant on it this time but I am going to be playing it out my friends. It was such an enjoyable uh, campaign last time. Chances are things are going to go entirely different because each campaign is in completely different. Um, uh, the, the enemies at react and act differently each to each campaign you start. So I'm going to start this new campaign again, and we're going to hopefully, my friends, get this one finished. Um, so without further ado, let's begin this brand new USA campaign. There will be other let's plays coming along as well. I'm going to probably resurrect a few of my other let's plays and sort of get them rolling quite early um, before I sort of played my Great Britain campaign quite quite a long time before I started any new let's plays but this time I'm going to sort of pick up the pace get quite a lot of let's plays on the way but we're going to wait and see what this one does. Let the summary start my friends and here we go. This is it my friend. This is how we left it last, well how we are begin should I say and as you can see here we do have this whole seaboard here is ours apart from Florida Florida my friend is absolutely key to holding the south here but as you can see Spain have it and they have some skirmishes in here oh they got grenadiers as well 4th grenadier regiment remember most of the major powers are very well dug in here they are extremely well established well excellent trade routes they are extremely established. They also have a lot of allies here. And the allies, my friends, for the British, who are absolutely our nemesis here. Never forget that, my friends. The nemesis we have here is the British. At the moment we're at peace with them. But they use, or will use, the Iroquois as their proxy army. So they will use the Iroquois to attack us, to try and draw us, to try and crush us, as it were. So we have to make sure that we are absolutely prepared because fighting against the native Indians, my friends, is absolutely the toughest task you will have in, in Empire Total War, bar none. They are absolutely ruthless fighters. When they get into melee range with you, when they get to hand to hand, it is utterly, utterly brutal. They can literally destroy two whole full stack armies comprising of your finest units. If they get in hand to hand with you, they will absolutely obliterate you because you know when they get in, when they get in close to you they become almost invincible in hand-to-hand -hand combat you need to have a certain strategy you need to absolutely be ready to counter charge them you need to have probably two armies waiting in standby to be able to defeat one uh, native indian army if you face two native indian armies you are pretty much dead my friends so we have to also make sure that we are fully prepared for that situation. Also, remember, the British have one of the, if not the most powerful navy in the world, bar none. So if, and I should say if and when they declare war on us, because believe me, my friends, they will do that, they will, they will hit these trade routes extremely hard, cutting off all our trade here. The most important route we have here is New York. New York is the absolute hub of our trade everything comes through New York and goes out of New York 
So we have to make sure that New York is fully protected. Secondly, my friends, we have to make sure that our internal tax income is going to remain high throughout. We have to make sure that we can sort of be able to take the hit when our trade is going to be sort of raided or blockaded. So we've got enough internal economy to be able to deal with this situation. But anyway, that's sort of a brief overview of what we're going to be looking at here. Now let's have a look. Hot air balloon. Excellent. So we've got hot air balloon already. So this is a late campaign. So as you can see, a lot of these are well established. Now, we are at peace with the, Cher the Cherokee nations. Now, this is going to be crucial. We get them on our side because they will help us no end, my friends. Now, France were allied with France. France was a bitter enemy with Britain at this time. So we've at least got France on our side. But to be honest with you, I'm not exactly going to hold out any great prospects for France coming to our aid. As you can see, Britain is pretty well dug in quite well here. Quebec is quite a powerhouse in this region. Um, and also Rupert's Land here, as you can see, my friends, is quite a well-established colony here for Britain. Um, what I'm looking for, though, my first action is probably to take Florida from the Spanish. As you can see here, Britain is already starting to bring in some ships here. So we've got to be careful here from the Bahamas and Jamaica. That's going to be really, really tough here. Digging out the Spanish is going to probably be the, um, our first goal here on the southern flank. Uh, in the north here, it's going to be dealing with the British and the Iroquois at the same time. Believe me, my friends, they will come for us, and they will come for us hard. So I need to make sure that I'm going to be well established here. And we should have, yeah, Cherokee Nation. We're, we're trading pretty well with these now at the moment. So I need to dig get myself. I need to get... Spain as my own. Let's have a look at our diplomatic relations before we go any further. Great Britain are indifferent to France, very friendly, so allied with France. Uh, Marathic is indifferent. Ottomans, like provinces. Oh, we're trading with quite a few nations here, which is good. Spain, we're, oh, we're friendly with Spain, which is good. Um, Austria, they're indifferent to us. Britain, oh, minus 18. So that's going to be quite a difficult proposition there to deal with. Britain will become very, very hostile towards us very quickly, but we have to manage that, my friends. Maratha Confederacy, we definitely want to try and maybe get them on our side. Great Britain, Austria would be definitely a big boon to us. Let's have a quick look at the overall map here so we can see. As you can see here, the Marathans are well established here. They have pretty much broken the back of the Mughal Empire. Um, Afghanistan. Afghanistan here. So Afghanistan has actually taken quite a lot of this sort of uh, northern region here as it were. But as you can see Maratha is quite well established. Got some British trade here, <coughs> United Provinces. So we are going to, first thing else we're going to do is we're actually going to get some trade with the Marathans. Let's see if they'll accept that. Excellent. So that is a good start. As you can see that is closed off pretty much everything else here. <coughs> no, the Iroquois are unfriendly. They don't like us at minus 58. <whistles> they really don't like us at all. But what about... Plains Nation. No, they're not interested. Cherokees. Now, Cherokees are unfriendly. Why are you unfriendly with us? Let's try and get an alliance with them. 1,400. Now, actually, pretty good spend that. I think I'll do that. So Cherokees, we've got a we've got an alliance with the Cherokees. They've become friendly with us now. Minus 33 here. Um, we need to really get ourselves up technology. What can we give them? I'm going to probably give them measuring tools for roads here. So we're going to give them this. We're going to sweep the deal. So we've given them a gift. Excellent, my friends. Now that's going now. Now they're very friendly with us, which is super. So. We're going to keep these on our side. We need them on our side. We really do, my friends. Now, they're unfriendly. We're going to open up, try to open some trade here. Fine, let's go okay with me. Now, they're indifferent to us still. But they really don't like us. We're going to keep the trade going as long as we possibly can here. Let's have a quick look how Europe is panning out here. Because Europe is going to be absolutely crucial to us in terms of what happens with the future of the campaign. As you can see here, it's pretty much as it was before here. Either late or early is pretty much the same as you can see. 
I think that Russia and the Ottomans are at war with each other. Yeah, indeed. So that's going to be quite a fight to look out for. We've just got to keep ourselves away from any external fights if we can. But Spain are okay with us. So we're not going to do anything with Spain just yet. Um, they're quite friendly with us, so we want to try remain in that way. We're allied with France. Hopefully France will help us out. We're also allied now with the Cherokee Nations. We want to try and secure as many alliances as we possibly can here. Um, to try and help us secure everything that we can. So, first things first, we got we did start out with 37,500. We have to spend a little bit to secure some to secure some trade with those around us. I've got to keep my eye on the Iroquois here because, or the Iroquois, should I say, they are exceptionally dangerous. We've got this army here, minute men. So I think what we are going to do is start looking at what armies we have. So. We've got Anthony Wayne here. We've got a 12 pounder, Minutemen and Strangers. John Sullivan down here in the south outside Charleston. Nathaniel Green. Oh, he's an excellent general. Richard Butler. Thomas Brown. Oh, that's some nice units here actually. Tobin Davis and last but not least, William Davidson. We've only got this fleet here. So the first thing we're going to do is move this fleet into into New York. How, how are our regions doing with tax? Any, oh, we've got some agents, so that's good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go and check out the Iriki, or Iroquois, should I say, see what they're up to. Got to keep an eye on our potential enemies. <clears throat> we do have the missionary. We're going to use everything we possibly can to our advantage. So we're actually going to send the missionary up to the Iroquois here. Just to keep an eye on things. And then we have Benjamin Franklin, my friends. And we're going to send him into classical university. And we're going to straight to... Oh, we've got quite a good chunk of stuff here. That is excellent. Look at this. Because it's a late campaign, we've already got a lot of things on the move here. Fire by rank is done. Now... In what else have we got here? We've got quite a lot of this already done. Oh, this is excellent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a new model beta drill. Plus two charge bonus. I'm definitely going to need that against the Iroquois and enhance prestige. So we're definitely going to go that. It'll also open up this route here, which will give us army board. Which will open up a lot of units here. Right, first things first. I think is we're going to start... Let's have a go trade first. Trade is exceptionally well, actually. We've got a lot of trade coming in, which is good. Cotton seems to be the biggest commodity. Tobacco, then furs. Let's have a look here. Uh, and a tax income is not that good. It's just slightly lower than the army upkeep is, but that's going to shoot up. So we've got to try and get our trading, our tax income up as quickly as we can. First things first, I think, is to get the farms up and running to their full potential. Peasant farms, also to make sure the populace is well fed. So that's going to be our first mission. First task is the economy, my friends. Economy is absolutely everything. Now, I'm actually probably going to put this army in the savannah. Is there any more? Can't do anything here, here yet. Dry dock, we definitely need to increase our dry dock because we're going to need some of these ships here. The dry dock is quite expensive, but we can do that early on actually. With oh, this mine here, 174, oh, that's quite nice. 1200, it's going to be quite a big income for us there. Any other farms? Not yet. I think we're going to probably go for a craft workshop. And we're definitely going to put some money into these, these mines because they're going to bring in quite a lot of money for us. So we need to 
really get our tr internal economy up and running quite quickly. Ooh. I think we shall have here a trading port. Here we're going to have a dry dock, so we're going to start spending quite a bit of money here on our internal. Ooh, look at that chapter school. Actually, no, 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 no. We're actually going to get rid of that, turn that into a university. The Weaver's Cottage. Bring all these up to full. Ooh, 2910. Oh. Not yet. those. 3160, not bad at all. Ooh, and one of those as well. Here we're going to upgrade the commercial port. We've already got a commercial port here so that's going to be good. So we can upgrade some of these ports, get in the income. Oh, look at that, look at that, Britain's already got these ships out here, so that's why I need to get my dry dock up. Right, now I need to start focusing on Military Academy. Let's have a look what that's going to give us. Grenadiers, horse, we don't get any heavy cav here as the USA, which is an absolute nightmare. But well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start getting these up to full spec, because that's what we need to do. Definitely get our roads. Again up and running. Can't build that yet, but we can. Oh my Gordon Bennett. First Delaware. We're definitely going to have Continental Marines. Here we've got Grenadiers, which are going to be an absolute boon. And we're going to start producing our armies that are going to take us from this sort of quite restricted coastal sort of Areas we control. I'm actually going to move these into Philadelphia just to make sure we've got enough backup here. And I'm going to put that into there. So make sure this farm is up and running. Um, actually, ooh, this line of infantry here. That can go into Albany, New York to make sure just to reinforce there. This can go into Boston. Make sure we're not going to be bamboozled by anybody. And we also need to get all our roads up and running as well as quickly as possible. So all of these will be eventually connected. The basic roads aren't even there yet. Nor here. Plus that will get my internal... What have I got coming in next turn? 10,000 pounds. Wow, that's nice. At war with them. Allies with those. Right, my friends. Let's just end the turn. Let's see what is thrown our way. Great Britain. Hopefully Great Britain will leave us alone. I believe they're at war with the French. So, yes, indeed, I think that just proves it. So it looks like France are going to be the main. Ooh, damn, they're going to really hit France pretty hard here, the British. So, we don't think we can rely on France to be too rough. Duh, the United Provinces now. Enemies with them. I'm not going to be paying that, but I'll take a military alliance with you. Nope, I won't take that. 1,300, nope, I'm not going to do doing that. But I will give you this, that, for it. <laughs> Excellent, my friends. We've got a powerful, arm and a powerful ally in this region now. Hopefully the Dutch can hold their own um, in the Amsterdam, and I think, oh no, Austria have got there, wow. So we're allied with the Cherokee, which is good for us. This sort of holds our flank here. Denmark, I'm not sure how they're going to put, ooh, look at that. Austrians went straight for Paris, wow. That is going to knock the stuffing out of France. We've got Hanover. Now, what's how France are going to respond? Here we go. But not doing well. Ooh, hoo -hoo. why are the Iraqi moving over here? Oh, 
I am not getting involved in that, I'm afraid. The 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 Dutch only have the one enemy, my friends, just the one enemy, and they are you know the Barbary states are not going to exactly do a lot in terms of, you know, a major war. So with the Dutch I've got an alliance, but just solidifies my because the Dutch member have got still got territory in the Americas. Um, and they are going to be quite powerful friends and also trade partners, Russia. Russia could do quite a lot of damage here, especially against the Ottomans. Whoa, that's a big fleet. Right, look at that. Look how much Britain has developed. The Britain has developed so well. Spain. Was that Spain attacking Britain? I believe it was. If that's the case, then we could be... We, then Britain could be... under a lot of pressure from the Spanish right from the off. Which would be good for us. Gonna, we, yes, excellent. So, we're going to have a little bit of a snoop around, my friends, and see what's going on. First things first, I think, is to have a look at what's going on over here. being recruited there. Excellent. Oh, the first dead away. Oh dear. Oh, Spain and Great Britain. Wow, that's a... Oh, I'm going to let them fight out. Oh, look at this, Poland, Russia. A second hot air balloon has gone up. So that is really going to knock the British there. So we've got to make it. We've got to take advantage of what's happening here. So we're going to start connecting our roads, and we're going to start really sort of getting the infrastructure here built up. We've got the governor's residence here, the state capital here. Doesn't give us a lot of money. Ooh, and we're going to have a school here. Come on, next turn, eleven thousand. Tobacco. How is tobacco going to do? Tobacco. It's cotton. Tobacco is 21 gold per tobacco, so it's not too bad. 189 is 9 barrels. It's not too bad at all. 1160. I think I'll turn that into a military governor's. In Ca and I don't even need to, I don't think, not with Philadelphia so close. I can turn that into a state house. And how are the roads here? Well, cobbled roads, we're going to get everything up and running here. Make sure we're fully prepared for anything coming our way. Oh, we missed that farm there. Cobble roads here. Basic roads there, so we're going to get our roads up. It's going to increase our tax income, which is what we need. We need our tax income to be more than our army upkeep. That way, our trade income is going to be all the surplus we're going to need. Now, I am going to have to recruit some ships as well, so I'm going to get a fifth rate here. We're going to start building this art fleet up here quite significantly. I think one more Continental Marine will do us just fine. Then, my friends, we build up quite a sizable army here, which is going to put us in good stead. Superior General. Oh, gosh, look at that. Fighting the Americas. Oh, we can a oh, ambushes as well. That's nice. Skill Siege Defenders of Britain. Aid the Camp. So, this General, Nathaniel Green, is really going to be the absolute ace in our, in our hand here. Now we've got. Need to see what's coming our way, my friends, just to be sure that we're okay here. Also, I'm building up some sizable armies here. So 
So anyone else we can trade with? Just to make sure you keep it coming in, that money coming in, nothing yet. Poland, so Russia. Let's have a quick look at how Europe is at the moment. I believe the Russians have just taken Minsk. I think they've just taken Minsk. It, whoa! Austria really is a powerhouse here. Looks like they've taken um, Galicia and Podolia here from the Poles. Looks like the Polish are going to be wiped off the map between the Russians and the, and the Austrians. That's going to be a hell of a battle there. And it looks like the Austrians are going for the French as well. Britain is at the moment leaving us alone because they're at war with Spain, which is going to keep them hopefully nicely and quiet, which means we can focus upon the British when we need to. As you can see here, my friends, we've got quite a lot of trade coming in and out of New York. That really is the main hub here of our, of our trade. Oh, hang on. Research coming off four before that, so we can hopefully get a new. Let's end the turn. And of course, we've got our missionary moving up. Oh, they're pushed out there. Hopefully, this is going to draw the Spanish and the British together in a brilliant war declared straight away. Look at that. Yes. And the Iroquois didn't join them this time. The Iroquois did not join them. Got France and the Cherokee Nations against us, right? So it looks like Britain's going to hit us. Cheapest creepers, that's a large force there. Hopefully, Spain will keep them busy. And I need to get up a, a quite a strong force now because they're going to start raiding our trade lines, hitting our ports without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, and hitting France as well. Look, there it is. There it is. I knew it. So I'm going to have to spend a bit of money now on getting my fleet up to protect my ports. Especially New York. If New York goes, I'm going to be in trouble. too close here. They're getting a little bit too close here for comfort. <laughs> Ottomans. <laughs> Ooh. Military lines. Why would I give you all of that? I don't think so. I'm not paying for an alliance unless it's absolutely something that's going to really aid me and benefit me in a large way. Hopefully Russia is going to start... I think Russia is going to completely destroy... Oh, Come on now, Spain. Yes, that's it, Spain. Drive them out. Spain could be a really powerful ally for us. We're just going to leave them alone. Spain, we're not going to start any unnecessary wars with Spain. Even though we want... Okay. That's probably because we... Britain declared war. They don't want to choose sides, which is fair enough. Right, let's have a look here. Excellent, excellent. So, we're keeping our income coming in along very nicely. Oh, Russia and oh, Sweden. Wow. Poland and Prussia. Poland and Austria. United States and United States and problems in Austria. Wow. France is better than me. Excellent. Well, that reminds me, I've got to look at my ministers. I forgot to do that. Now justice is not good. Oh he's good. He's an he's oh whoa, look at this. Excellent. But justice is not good. Frugal and thrifty. Could be the man for the job. I 
I think this is the man that's going to be this man here is going to be the man to replace this gentleman here can't do it at the moment but I can't kick him I wish I could I can't swap these at the moment because let's kick point E and it's put him nothing yet nope not changed so I can't change that oh well government so the commercial port here is going to increase oh, actually I've got to spend the money wisely my friends very wisely indeed first thing I'm going to do because we're against the British is I'm going to increase my fleet there again this army here we're going to use the win of the minute men to push out this <laughs> British fleet and bring that up to full spec again Weaver's Cottage yeah, we'll have some of that thank you very much Let's keep these as as I go. Five thousand euro tax income, which is great. So with that in mind, we're probably gonna need some more cavalry here. So regiment of horse. And here as well, my friends, we're going to have some twelve pounders and actually two twelve pounders. How's the army doing here? Yeah, we're gonna have some more. We're actually probably gonna get rid of the six pounder, we're gonna disband that. As you can see trade there has been hit but that's not to worry we just got to accept that's what's going to happen I'm have to send some troops down to there eventually nine three seven eight afford these yet I've got to pick and choose what I spend my money on at the moment unfortunately with the war in, with Britain on this way I've got to spend my I've got to spend my money extremely wisely with that almost done as well dry dock I'm going to be able to bring in some quite nice ships including this second or fifth second rate ship of the line Shall definitely bolster some of our <coughs> our troops here. Probably going to start saving. Oh, wait a minute! I'm probably going to start saving up some money as well, so that I can um, deal in case any of our things are hit quite hard. I'll get some provincial cavalry down here. allied here with the Cherokee nations. Let's have a quick look at our Ooh, the Ottoman Empire my friends. Ooh, Russia. Let's see if we can get us some trade with these gentlemen. Yes, excellent. And the Ottomans as well. I think my friends we shall... Oh, wait a second. I might even go for the Austrians here because they're going to be pretty strong I think. Not, not to worry, Ottomans maybe. They still got quite a sizable empire. What's your decision? Yes. Excellent. Nothing here of yet. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything with these. So that's gonna, yes, this is indeed going to drive up our trade. Look at that. Oh. That's why France is being besieged, one of their ports, and also Russia here as well. So that's why our trade is down a little bit. So again, my friends, I'm going to just try and keep a little bit of surplus. How's the army doing here? Excellent. Got to try and get good, well-balanced armies. Great Britain. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Looks like they're going to prime border. I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully Spain is going to keep their ships there to bl Whoa. Wait a minute. Come 
on Spain. Just go back and blockade the port. Nope. States. Ooh, looks like they're going for the Swedes pretty hard there. If Paris falls to the Austrians, the Austrians are going to be incredibly powerful. Or the Iroquois, should I say, moving around like that? Military alliance. No, I'm not getting involved in any of your wars. The Ottomans. Are hopefully going to. keep their trade routes open. Poland who have been squeezed very very hard my friends. <sighs> Looks like Russia is gaining strength here on the Swedish front. Looks like they're gonna Spain are gonna push them away. Good. Hopefully Spain are gonna send some more ships to the Americas to tie down some British assets. <laughs> wow. The wars that are going on in Europe are staggering. I know. We do have this fleet in here. Damn, their hides. Get out of there. We're going to repair that. Why is there anything coming in of there? Is this done here? Let's have a quick look. Still building, so we got another what another so we're gonna wait. Let's have, let's have a trade. Oh five two two. So again we need to increase our internal revenue here. First thing I need to do though, I think my friends is bring and increase our armies here. I think, what is this army, it's the composition here, we've got, so you're going to probably need another 12 pounder, another continental marine, and we definitely going to need some horse, so regiment of horse definitely going to be needed, and here as well my friends, we're probably going to need, I'm going to remove the Minutemen to Albany. these out here. Oh no 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 I've taken too many here. Yes. Forward march. Forging supplies. Ready and waiting order. Immediately. Your humble 
Why are you here? And that, my friends, is why I need to increase what I've got coming in here. Oh, we've got that there as well. And there. How may I serve? So we're getting uh, Protonist, Protant, Protit, Protestantism. Up. I can't even see it. But I know I've got to repair one of these here. Yes, I do indeed. I can't leave that going for too long. Got the British starting to raid him. The British are going to try and hit this here. But they're going to try and go for Falmouth. So I think, my friends, we're going to have ourselves quite a fight there in Falmouth. That is us done pretty well here. We're at peace with Spain. So if I make sure we can can we trade with anybody else and look alike. How are we with Spain at the moment? Friendly with Spain. Oh, Spain are a lot of enemy with quite a lot of But why have why are all of these up here? It looks like France is getting absolutely battered by the British to be honest with you. So they're going to gain strength up there in the north. So we need to get our armies up quite quickly here to, to meet this threat. Got another fifth rate coming in soon. But they're going to try and take this. Here they are. And then I shall move my army out and we shall have first blood, my friends. Right, let's end the turn. See what happens. Britain will then go for Falmouth straight away. Come on, Spain, hold them up there. Okay, they're leaving here, so they must be going for Spain. Or one of these ports. Bam, there it is. Boom. There they're right, they've gone to there. Oh, oh. D give Maryland. You must be joking, but they'll come for that. You watch the Dutch come for that. Absolutely not. got enough going on. So France is going to have to deal with itself. I don't like breaking alliances, but France will just have to get on with it. And I'll get into a war with the United Provinces as well. No chance. Oh, that's a nice chunk of army there. Austria got absolutely hammered there by the British. Come on, Spain. Come on, Austria. Do something to the British. Uh, oh. France. Sorry, my friend. You're at war with... F Whoa. That is a lot. I'll take it. I need the cash. Seems a bit mad, but I'm going to take that cash. 
6,100. Absolutely, my friends. I can spend that on some ships, on some upgrading some buildings. I've got my spies here. Naples and Sicily. I'm going to have to reject that off of there. Afghanistan. We do seem to have quite a powerful reach. Ottomans. Whoa. That, oh, God, here we go. This is going to slow down everything, having all these guys just suddenly stood here. Looks like they've moved, so Plate Nation, Poland. Uh, why would I give you Georgia? That's a lot of money, but I'm not taking that, no way. No chance I'm not getting dragged into any any wars there in Europe because they're almost oh, Poland's almost gone. I mean Russia might even destroy Poland. Ah Spain, come on Spain, do something back. Ah, that's it. that Sweden is now officially really a powerhouse because they're gonna have enough coming in here now to really challenge Russia and anybody else as well they take Norway as well that's gonna be a real boon here because they're gonna take all of the Scandinavian countries oh dear well that that didn't last long did it Six, three. That, my friends, is why I need to keep a track of my economy. Excellent. A dark star. We're allied back with the French. because okay I think it's time to invest <coughs> a little bit here in the economy but also we're going to invest in our armies which are coming together very nicely actually What's the balance like here? We've only got one horse. We are going to need got three. Probably another two of these. And move back to here. Two cav. That can be disbanded. I'm going to go for a great arsenal here, so I can get some better, some 12 pounders.
perfect my friends absolutely perfect here this is being raided here of course I could upgrade that there but we're right on British shore we're right on the edge of the British here so we don't really want to push too much but look at that that's why I want to get this army up as quickly as possible I'm going to strike out and try and take north Fort Nashwak if I can is there anything else I can upgrade or I didn't see that. Hopefully the south will remain quiet. How are the... Are the Iroquois? Because we're going to a problem with them. Cherokee are very friendly with us. Oh, plus 175. So I'm actually going to give them some technology. Steam pump. I want them to be very, very capable of helping us. I want them to be, you know, having some good stuff so they can support us quite well. Iron workshops. So they're going to, you know, they're going to start bringing in hopefully some decent troops soon oh wow they're going to open oh warrior society wow so I need to make sure I'm also covered down here against the mm, Cherokee just in case but they require I'm peace with they require at the moment Six oh six sixty-five. so I think I'm going to oh yes Oh, I can't invest in that just yet, drats. Ooh, a fourth rate. That is expensive for a fourth rate. Probably going to wait and try and get one of these here. Oh yes, definitely one of them. Three thousand and twenty. I'm definitely going to get one of those for my main fleet. <coughs> How is trade? Ah, that's why Spain's been hit, Sweden's been hit, France has been hit, Russia's been hit. That's why my my income is down quite substantially. Gotta try and get this up higher, this tax income. Hopefully now with these being built I can actually do that. Let's end the turn. Remember we are also technologically behind Britain, Spain, France in the terms of having a lot of technology. Whoa. I bet you anyone that's going to arrive by ship at our door, at our door, I can guarantee it. Come on, Spain, hang on. fleet is staggering. Barbary States. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are they going exactly? What are they doing there? They come to help us, I don't mind, but by damn, that's going to be a tough fight if i got to take them out. Genoa. France. Come on now, France, strike back, yes, that's more like it.
Oh, looks like Morocco on the march. Maybe going to go for the Barbary States, which would be quite a coup there for them because that would then remove the Barbary States raiding Ottoman Empire, who don't seem to have taken any damage at all from the Russians as, as yet. I think a lot of Russian uh, sort of the gaze of the Russians has been definitely heading more to the Swedish front. Everything is raiding these trade lines. It's going to kill our trade. Oh, three nine seven five. You're joking. There it is. Spain completely cut off. Sweden completely cut off. Russian and the Ottoman Empire completely cut off. That's why we're losing so much money. Got no income at all, hardly from our from our trade. Troops here. Yes, at last. Ooh, that's a big fight. It's huge. Fifty from that one, or a thousand from there. So I'm going to invest in our internal economy there. How's this army looking? Pretty strong here. So I'm going to get rid of the six pounder. I want this. Uh, I want this army to be absolutely top spec. Look at the, look at this army upkeep here. It's going to be eventually. It's going to be huge. Um, I've got a strike out against one of the British. Uh, definitely one of the British assets. Probably Fort Nashwack eventually. Uh, maybe go for. Uh, that's what I need to do is start moving along around here. See what's up in Montreal here. Unheard. Anything else? That might be quite a nice. All oh, this is Iraqi territory. Can't get an alliance with them. I just want to leave them alone. I don't want to provoke them in any way, so I need to somehow get across their territory here. But if they come up through here, and then go into here. But if I take Fort Nashwak, it would definitely open up this side of it here for me. But it would leave me vulnerable, but then again I would have Philadelphia here is quite a potent army to deal with anything. That's army 3 cavalry, which is standard. I've got another cannon incoming here. I'm going to need more standard line infantry. Thus, and also I'm going to wait for this to be done here, but I'm going to hold some money back. I still can't get anything here yet. Can't invest in that just yet, my friends. That is still quite a potent army there. I've got to make sure they're still on our side. 
Cherokee nations, yeah, they're okay with us. Plus 197, so they're okay with us here. So hopefully these guys are just going to defend us here. Spain seems to be increasing their army substantially here. I hope they're not going to do anything silly. We should have the Cherokee on our side though, which is good. And they are increasing their things exponentially here. Okay, last turn, my friends, of this episode. We're just going to see what happens, see what the British decide to do. Nothing silly yet. But they are upgrading the barracks. I'm not going to repair any of these anymore because it's just no point. Because they're going to keep coming back and forth here. Barbary States. I hope that's the defenders. I hope they're not going to attack us because otherwise we'd be in deep trouble. Oh, Denmark. Is that Danish rebels? That could be Danish rebels there. They've taken a bit of a hammering. The Spain, France, I should have said, hitting the the, the British. Prussia. Wow, that's a lot of trade lines being hit there. Look at this. Ottoman Empire. Uh, oh, I'm afraid that is not going to happen. You've got far too many powerful enemies here. I'm not going to get involved in that. If only Russia could remove that Swedish blockade. the end of Denmark. Now the Swedes were pretty ruthless there. Excellent, excellent. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is incredible. We've been absolutely hammered so hard. The trade is just plunged. Where do these keep coming from? Five four eighty. Our trading income has been absolutely blitzed. So we're going to keep. We're going to save this money and try and keep as much money as we can in our pockets. <clears throat> because in a moment we're going to be hit hard. There's no point in getting furs because we can't export them because we're being hit so hard. We've got nothing coming in here at all. Why have we got anything going in here? I don't understand. Oh, 
Why have we got nothing being built here? Something should be being used this here. I think I'll go for carcass shot here. Oh, no, wait. almost here so I can go for it. I think they'll go for carcass shot I need to take the fight to the British somehow got here. Oh, Hassel Castle Grenadiers, they are going to be tough. And they're also increasing the military academy here, so they're going to be able to produce Grenadiers, John's Bodyguard, Colonials. So they're really pushing out the boat here. Cannon Foundry still can't upgrade big bank, so I might be in ahead of them. And they still only got basic roads, so I might even go for Quebec and really knock a hole in the British lines as it were, but I've got I've got to hold on here, my friends, to what I've got in terms of money. <clears throat> but I need to get this army up to full strength if I can. I'm gonna need one more regiment here, and I'm gonna wait for this great arsenal to be done, and then we're going to push out and leave this army in, in situ to make sure it can deal with anything coming our way. And in that case I'm gonna probably Anyway, friends, I'm probably going to end this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, my first episode of my brand new USA campaign after the other one was unfortunately taken away. Um, and I can promise you, my friends, that things are going to get pretty spicy here. I can either strike upwards here into Montreal, or I can just go for the absolute the king here. This would be the kingmaker here, which is Quebec, New France, or I can take Fort Nashwack but this would leave Boston wide open, but I do have this army here to sort of respond if anything does come that way, so I might even just go for Fort Nashwack and remove this menace here. They've got to cross here and go into... Or I could just take the straight up fight, or even maybe go for Montreal. Ooh, to get the 5th Northumberland Fusiliers. So I might have to do something about this, and then take this territory off them. That would then remove that problem right away. We could hunker down here, this would draw all the British into this region, trying to fight us here in Montreal, then we could start another fight here. Let's look here a second. 648 to total region wealth. It's not brilliant, but still. Just unrest is quite potent here. They may get some problems soon with the religious unrest. Oh, he's he's doing a fine job there. I might even strike for Montreal, my friends, before they get too strong. That might be a good thing to hit for. They got some tree coming in here. 6750 oh, Quebec would definitely be something I would look at, but Montreal might be a good choice and strike in against them here. They've taken Agbatuk, they've got Newfoundland, they've got nothing coming in here at all. They've got 1475 going out. I have to decide next turn. But anyway, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe, my friends, and please leave your comments down below. They will always be welcome, my friends, what you think I should do. Any suggestions will always be welcome. Um, have a look at my Russian campaign as well. That started, so have a look at that. It's the opposite, shall we say, of this USA campaign. We've got the Cherokees down here, which are quite...
quite kindly helping us here by guarding Savannah for some reason, but I'm not going to complain. That's definitely going to be the help of us. So I'm going to use this army eventually, my friends, when it's up to a decent spec to strike out um, against the British. And with that in mind, I'll probably do this. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it. Um, our income is going to be pretty hit hard unless we can do something bigger. We've got to take the war to the British, which, which is what we're going to do. Tentative farms, shipyard here, theatre, iron, oh look at that, and oh steep, so we might even go for those there, meagre yield. Fort Nashrak would be quite would be quite a take actually, so I could go there and take that, would be quite a boon for us. But anyway friends, hope you've enjoyed this episode, if you have, please comment, like and subscribe. Until next time my friends, we're going to promise you much more action, this term we've been just building our economy and growing. But until next time my friends, bye for now.